I've recently purchased an Eberly stock uh, F1 mainframe, or, and it's uh, very highly rated among hunters. But I'm going to use it for much more than that. But to put this into perspective, all my kit is, you know, set up to in modular systems where I don't have to pack any more than I need to. This will carry, you know, I can carry just a small item on there or I can load this thing down. It is rated to 700 pounds, but my my needs are a little bit more than just going out on a weekend. Uh, I think a little more longer term having done this sort of thing before. I know that there's going to be a lot more that I'll have to be packing in and out when I when I make the move permanent and well things like five gallon jugs of water 200 yards that's the kind of thing this will do it'll be packing propane bottles outboard motors uh, and meat which is what it's you know really got its claim to fame for on the internet but just about it's the versatility of it that appeals to me and I'll get started on showing you some of the features that I like and maybe a few that I don't like so much anyway let's get started here I've got a uh, few things to sh that I like and some things I don't like so much one of the things is these bat wings that these actually flip in and out, and they zip on and off, and, and they can be re removed fairly quickly. And they do carry quite a bit of stuff because of the length of it. A lot of your oddball items that just don't fit very well in your pack, they fit in this just fine. But then other things don't fit so well. Like I, the one item I do have that doesn't fit so well is a... A U.S. Army uh, mess kit. It won't fit in one of these bags very well. You no, know, well, without bulging it out. But it will slide in right on this meat shelf here. Uh, and every these bat wings do fold out. Let me sh let me pull that apart and show you. Oh, before I do that. One other thing here is they've, they've given a lot of extra length to these uh, zippers. And I assume that's for making it easier to, to get them in position. But they do tuck up out of the way underneath other straps. So it's really not that big an issue. Let me pull this thing apart. Okay, now these two bat wings can zip together here. And one of the things that Everly Stock makes is, is a rifle scabbard that will tuck up in there. And will ride underneath this when it is zipped together. And that will keep the pack pretty narrow. Now, otherwise opened up, it can be... You know, some things can be attached to this molly pad. Some can just rest on the, the meat shelf here. And then, you know, run your straps through here and cinch it down. And it has the additional straps and buckles here on the side. Uh, it can pretty much secure a, a whole lot of stuff there. Like I say, I have propane bottles, a chainsaw, miscellaneous tools and equipment. Uh, you name it, you can, if you, you can carry it, you can put it on here. Now, this pack is rated to 700 pounds. Not that you're ever going to be carrying 700 pounds, and they probably could have made it lighter if they hadn't built it so solid. But it's highly unlikely it's ever going to fail. Now, Part of building things, you know, to this standard is expense. And 
the the main frame itself this part right here is uh, that cost me about 300 bucks these pouches for the side they were 50 bucks each and they do make up you know other packs I think they're called a vapor series that are in different sizes that will zip in here as well it's a like I say very versatile but when it comes right down to it you can strap stuff on there just like a pack board now one thing they do here is they, they have a little hook and a loop here and what this does is it <coughs> it holds the zippers from, from coming down and they're a bit hard to maneuver in there one thing I'm thinking about doing is putting a little heat to that and just bend that out just a little bit to maybe ease getting those on there. They're a little a little difficult to, to get them to fasten into that loop. Now the packs that the the Everly stock makes that fit in here, they're expensive too. They're they're over three hundred dollars. But it works out because just the size and shape and the way everything will latch down. I don't have to buy their packs. The, the other small pack I have will fit in there perfectly. And it only costs 40 bucks. Okay, and there it is strapped back together. So one nice feature is uh, these little strap containers, I guess. There's just a little piece of Velcro that so you can take any excess strap, roll it up, and then just wrap it around the, the other strap there. And it, it keeps things neat and, you know, not dangling around, which is why I've, you know, I tucked these other straps out of the way. One other thing I'd like to say about this meat shelf here is it's pretty common when you're backpacking around to take a break every now and then and just lean up against the tree and just relax a little bit well with this I have found that I don't need a tree I can I can put it in the you know I can lean up against it I just loosen my straps up a little bit and then I can I can kick back and relax as this flat part makes a stand uh, like I say, it, it's pretty comfortable. Now, one of the things I like is when it's packed narrow like this, um, I can carry my rifle over my shoulder for quick access. And a few other things I like here. One is this, this handle here. This is a stout handle. I know a lot of times some of my other packs are a little bit cheap. But this one is is good and comfortable and, and stout so I can either hang the pack up or or just pick it up with one hand uh, another nice thing I like are these uh, attachments here I, I like to carry a water bottle on one of these and uh, then just lift it to my my mouth to drink it I don't, I don't care for those hydration bags you suck through some kind of straw that makes everything taste like rubber I, anyway uh, and again you have more of these these straps that uh, you know well it's a, con it's a velcro strip that you can roll up all the excess strap on and your centerpiece here which has an elastic pad in there you don't have to have, you know, just to hold it in place, you don't have to have it fully tight up against you. But once it's pulled out hard, it will hold. Now the only place they didn't have uh, strap retainers were at the, at the end of your shoulder straps here. And I did take a... Uh, little elastic pad so I could roll those up now what makes this thing great is all this padding in here your, 
lumbar or whatever is uh, well that's about two inches of foam right there it's a nice thick pad and you have about an inch for your for your hip pad there and you should set this up where most of your weight is on your hip and it's very comfortable that way but you've also got uh, another inch of padding going up into your back and on the top of your neck here and about a half inch for your shoulder straps here it's very well padded but further than that this right here is adjustments so you can make this pack fit you uh, as far as from there up to where your shoulder straps are and this has quite a bit of adjustment to it now they actually make two frames one is a regular and then another one is a tall I went with the regular I'm, I'm, I, I'm not tall enough to need any special thing there but that's so you get a little more adjustment here if you're I don't know six foot two or three or something you may want to go with the with the tall uh, adjustment you know the, the taller mainframe but this is like I say if you can ad adjust it it's well padded it's going to be as comfortable as you're going to get back and back and frayed out now one thing I, I would have liked to have seen is these uh, pat this padding for the hips I would have liked to have seen that a little bit longer and the reason for that is uh, this is a pretty good platform to hang to hang things on but it's a little they're a little bit short they don't come far enough around for me to really access my gun well I'd, I'd have to put a handgun on on this thinner strap here which will work but it's it's not as ideal as I'd like I say I'd like to have these a bit longer one other thing I'd like to mention about this is its weight it, it, this is hell for stout probably last me the rest of my days without issue but it weighs five and a half pounds with the bat wings attached to it and that's pretty heavy for a well a pack frame which usually weighs about half that anyway uh, that's it for for my review of it I'm, I'm pleased even spending you know four hundred dollars uh, this will do the job